Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to S'more EU4 as Norway. Uh, when we last left off, Portugal had made an interesting choice. Hmm. Our settler chances are already better. Ah, because, uh... No, we have... Hmm. Is it production efficiency? Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, uh, our colony might just finish before the Earth because we have a better chance for new settlers than they do, and uh, that would be nice if it did. Uh, hopefully in this episode, we will get enough colonies in the colonial Canada region to have a uh, colonial nation split off. Also, you should be up here. Can I fix the, uh, yeah, the patrol route on that is full cycle. Uh, let's see. I'd switch from building... I started building the trade provinces, had I, hadn't I? Let's... Yeah. Because now that we're directing trade back into the North Sea, and England has done the same thing with their provinces, we want to get these built so that we can have uh, more power in this trade node again. Yes, I agree. Uh, it is an uh, insult to Norway. How's our opinion of Denmark doing? Oh, we're getting close. Uh, unhappiness amongst the peasantry. Uh, lose our last bit of stability, but gain prestige. Or pay money. Well, even though we have a fairly good income... Uh, but that costs admin power to replace. We're getting awfully close to that. Yeah, we'll do this, though. Because I can't remember for certain, but I th think... Having a slightly damaged stability will increase the chance of religious province conversion events. Which we want. We can't really, uh... Well, it wouldn't be practical to convert to the Protestant religion if we don't have any uh, provinces of that religion. Animist. That's interesting. That, that, that little section up there. Anyways, how are you doing? Wait a minute. Oh no, never mind. I thought for a second, like, some of these provinces were also Catholic, or remembered for a second. We're at war! with Tonic Conquest of... Let's see. They're trying to conquer Kliz, which... That's one of Poland's provinces. Now, let's see. Something I've been forgetting. Well, actually. Okay, because we're really close to finishing off the uh, defensive ideas. We'll hold off on this for a second. But I've kind of been forgetting to raise war taxes, which will give us more money while we're at war. But, like I said, we're going to be able to finish this next month, which will also unlock this, giving us more colonial range, which is also quite... Oh, and we get another colonist. Excellent. So we have reduced land attrition, increased attrition for our enemies, another colonist, and a greater colonial range. And as soon as we unlock this, then we'll only have to take... Uh, one more idea to get a third colonist. And that one additional idea can be in any tree. But, uh, let's see. Which of these... We'll colonize that. And then I think we're going to need... Actually, we'll go to Cree. I want an additional regiment to help defend our colonies, now that we have this. And plus we can afford it. Uh, force limits wise. A priest translated the Bible. Hmm. This is an interesting event. Uh, increases. It'll decrease England's opinion of us a little bit, which we don't want. But on the other hand, this will give us a Protestant province, increase the reform desire, which increases the chance of more Protestant provinces happening, 
decrease our relations with the Papal States, which again gives a bonus to that, and decrease Sweden's opinion of us, which we don't like Sweden, so that's just fine. So yeah, let's spread these Bibles far and wide. Oh, and uh, I was looking through stuff. Having our Cardinal here does decrease our chances, but he's 70 years old, so he might die pretty soon here. But we now have a Protestant province. Is it in the... It is. It's our colony. Uh, that probably means it's going to switch back to Catholic. And when the uh, month takes by because of the colonist. Hmm. Or not. Well, we'll have to see if it sticks that way. Uh, if it does... If it stays Protestant, that might be useful in keeping our uh, colonial nation Protestant as well. Which, you know, it'd be good to have them like us because they're the same religion. See, are we still... Yeah, we're still the only one doing anything with the trade power in this node, which means that uh, it's... Yeah, all of, because I'm the only one doing anything with any of the trade power in either of these nodes, all of the trade power is going exactly where I tell it to, which is nice. I also have trade power here, which I'm using to forward a tiny little bit of income out of there, but uh, it's not nearly as uh, noteworthy or remarkable. Trade power. It's gonna skip out on these two provinces for now because as you might recall they are in a different trade node and we don't really care as much about this one. We want to stop losing trade power from this node. So yeah. Ah, good. Next colony's up. Norway's opinion of Denmark. Excellent. Okay. Well anyways, uh, like I said, religion change back to Catholic. Our next colony is going here but more importantly, we now have a negative... How did... Oh, because we're at war. Okay. Once the war is over, we will now have a negative opinion of them, which will mean the Union will end upon the death of uh, the monarch. And how old is he? He's 23, so that might still be a ways off, but... Austria gained a new cardinal. Did our old one die? He did. Okay. That will increase our chance of uh, getting provinces to switch religion. Uh, you can see that it's kind of happening throughout the Catholic world. Interesting that uh, there's actually been a couple of Iberian provinces that switched over. Iberians have a pretty uh, major penalty to, the, uh, to that event happening for them, so that's very interesting. And, uh, let's see, Portugal's colony here. Uh, they're probably going to beat us now, but uh, I'm glad Castile is not expanding this way any further, because I still want these provinces over here. Very nice provinces. Very nice. We discovered something else over here. What sort of leader do you have? Portugal has declared me a rival. And, uh, you know, they're the ones who came up where I was, not the other way around. Let's unrivel. But I agree with that. Portugal should be our rival. Let's unrival Connacht because. Are they embargoing us? Because they're not our rival anymore, so it's bad for us to be doing that. And they're not embargoing us, so we will lift our embargo. Because I, it, I was thinking about it a little, and it might actually be more useful, especially because England is allied with Portugal, to ally with Connacht and France against England. So, with that in mind, I'm going to start improving relations with uh, Connacht. And maybe with France once that's done. Not to mention, it would give us an excuse to uh, declare war on England and get the rest of our uh, trade note up here. Conquer all of Scotland from them. Which would make us uh, very powerful in this trade note indeed. As you can see, the buildings we are building are already having a positive effect on our control of the node. Oh, those new troops definitely ready by now.
Uh, we might just beat them. This colony might just beat their one here. I'll be curious to see where they uh, send their colonists after that. Uh, let's see. Castile... Okay, so as soon as their two colonies, they're finished. Ah, that's good. Fur is a valuable trade good. That'll help us our income, but... Uh, as soon as these pr colonies... Or as soon as this colony finishes, actually, uh, Castile will have their... Uh, a colonial government appear here. And I wonder where they're sending their next colonists. Here! Okay. It's a good province. I'm not happy they're getting it, but it could be worse. We just gained a general with 50 tradition, who is significantly better than our explorer. And, uh, while exploring this at some point would be nice, I don't want to pay that extra mili- Well... No, you know what? With our current- As long as we're in this union with Norway and they have that good king, we will continue to pay- We will pay that uh, upkeep because we're still making a lot of military points every month anyways. And this is a good general. Very good. He's... He's not the best I could get, but he is better than... Uh, he's a lot better than a fair number of generals I have gotten from uh, that event before. Yep. And, uh... So, for those who don't know a lot about the colonial mechanics in this game, I could recall my colonists from these provinces, and colonize additional provinces, but that increases the cost. Like, both of those colonies cost the same right now, or within the number of colonists I have. If I had three colonies, then the third colony would not only cost the uh, 2.12, it would have additional costs on top of that for being over that number, and uh, we can't really afford that. We couldn't even afford a num another uh, colony with a colonist, so yeah, not gonna do that. And also it would make uh, at least one colony grow slower because uh, the colonists are the reason, like this percent chance thing is what the coloners do. That's why having them there is useful. This is finished. Our, they are colonizing this bit here. Reject demands, increased central. Hate to do that, but we are going to do it. So they're trying to set up a colony in colonial Eastern America, it looks like. And infringe on our uh, Gulf of St. Lawrence trade. So what we're going to do once we have this area up here as a colonial nation is we're going to colonize this. Then we'll colonize here. Grab Connecticut, because I still want to see if we can uh, get that as a colonial nation, and then it will help me test how the uh, colonial nation mechanics work. And then Ohio, so we have a port on this side of the water. Religious civil disorder in Sweden. So they've been having a lot more uh, Protestant provinces popping up than we have. And uh, same is true with uh, Bohemia here, who's growing quite nicely. Hopefully they'll cause uh, some serious problems for uh, Austria in the future. Because, you know, we want to help out. We kind of want them to be our Austria, but if we're going to switch to allying France, we don't really, and we definitely don't want them to be too strong. Regardless, even if they are their ally, because uh, a strong Austria could be, could easily be quite a problem. Oh, did it? <sighs> Clicked OK and didn't even think about it. Uh, we need one more colony in this region. So here. But then once he's finished, we're going to send him here. Denmark. As well. And they've got all those provinces. We, we don't have any converting. We had the one colony that got converted through a, a special event of that nature. And, uh, let's see. Can I hold off on it? Yeah, I can hold off on it for a little while longer, it looks like, so that's what I'm going to do. 
Uh, we're almost to the point where we can, yeah, we can get a new military technology, which is good. We can start catching up on that, and we now have uh, the ability to create artillery, which we will definitely want to do some of in the future. Uh, Bohemia is not being nearly so tolerant of uh, the Reformation as Sweden and Denmark chose to be. Poland accepted Muscovy. I don't like Muscovy growing stronger. I don't like that at all. Well, it's uh, shaping up to be an interesting game. I don't think uh, Denmark is going to do too well in the long term. How are there's how is their opinion with Sweden? I can't, uh... I don't know if I can view that. Uh, unfortunately, our opinion has gone up some, but I'm sure we'll get more events to lower it. And we're no longer at peace, so we can no longer do the war taxes thing for extra income, but, uh... We got enough out of it. And our administrative power is really low. We might be able to put off buying this for another year. And now, they're both Protestant nations. We're still Catholic. On the other hand, that uh, will give us a relationship penalty with Denmark. And our... Pa they view us with distrust. Well, that's uh, a bit different than things used to be. Denmark is fighting the Hansa. We finally got a Protestant province in one of our actual provinces. You know, basically the farthest one away from the mainland we could possibly get that we will actually keep going forward, but, uh... You know, stuff takes time. Uh, let's improve relations with France. Let's kill some rebels. Uh, allied with France. Please... Okay, good. They did rebel on the mainland. I should probably have given them our really great general. But we didn't need it. I mean, as you can see, despite fighting them in the mountains, having all sorts of penalties, and uh, no leader, we still won handily. And half morale, because of, you know, reduced maintenance. Oh, and uh, you should go over there. Uh, okay, so they're no longer willing to support my independence. Uh, I wasn't going to fight for that to begin with. I'm sure it'll happen naturally. Excellent. That means this should finish next month, maybe? Discovery. That's in the Middle East. Yep. Oops. Another one. And Nigeria is self-sustaining. So, like I promised, send him there, uh, attached to transport, here. Because we want to get as much territory in the Gulf of St. Lawrence note as we can. The stronger we are in that trade note, the better. And the colonists will be there shortly. We'll just disembark the unit right now. new idea. Excellent, we'll finish off this, which we now can have a larger navy, naval force on its bonus, and we now have a suspelli, a reason to declare war without major penalty, against every pagan nation, which, you know, consists of all the native nations. So, we've... 
we've accomplished a lot in this episode, I'd say. And... You know, we can actually hold this off another year to completely get rid of the uh, ahead-of-time tech penalty. And, who knows, maybe we'll only get a greater neighbor bonus in that time. But, um... In the meantime, let's see how our religious unity is doing. Uh... Can't convert him. But they don't count toward against our religious unity, but, uh... Well, things are definitely starting to move in our favor, and uh, I think fairly soon here. Uh, next episode, definitely, we'll have our first colonial nation, and who knows, we might even become Protestant at some point soon. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed, and I uh, hope to see you next time.